I hate being honest. Yeah, I hate speaking my mind. And every time I relax, I unravel cause I still can't just unwind. So I'll bide my time till my brain trips on the power cord and kills the lights. I hate the way I sing, but I like the way I play. So I hope that you'll ignore one and the other still enough to make you stay. Or I'll be let down like some guys are when I break the news to them that I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm stranded on an island in my head of sea and sun and sand, but all I see is red. I think that I could leave, but I'll just stay in here instead. Cause I built a cool sand castle that I like, and it won't last, but then again it might. These cannonballs will put up quite the fight. I like it here. Yeah, it's all right. I'm great at being dickish, but I want to be sincere. Cause when the levee breaks, I watch the smile that floods your face break down in tears. I light you up, but I crossed the wires and blew up everything that keeps me here. I'm stranded on an island in my head of sea and sun and sand, but all I see is red. I think that I could leave, but I'll just stay in here instead, because I really don't mind playing with myself, as long as I pretend I'm someone else. And never stop to think about my mental health I like it here much of a hunter, but I still love taking shots until I'm drowning in much more than just my solitude and thoughts. I don't want to be that boy you just forgot. I'm stranded on an island in my head of sea and sun and sand, but all I see is red. I think that I could leave, but I'll just stay in here instead, because I built a cool sand castle that I like. And it won't last, but then again it might These cannonballs will put up quite the bite I like it here Ooh, I hate it here It's alright Yeah, it's alright Yeah, it's alright Hello, everyone, and welcome to Playing With Myself. I have to say I'm amazed that so many people showed up to a song with that title. That really that says something about the world. Shame on you people. Uh, so my name is Adam Baird. Uh, this is Cassie. We're very, very excited to be here with you. Uh, now, I was lucky to meet Cassie when I was 17. Uh, but as some of you in the audience may know, not every relationship that you start at 17 goes so well. Uh, I wrote this next song before I met my amazing, wonderful wife. And you will understand that disclaimer in about 15 seconds. Our sex has never been that great. But she corrects me and says that I shouldn't exaggerate And I'm irate because it keeps me stressed She's mine and she knows what's best and that's fine with me But it's just not worth it, it's too much work to get undressed 
Cause neither of us are romantic And both of us are insecure We aren't particularly pedantic Which is why we're so unsure Of the particulars Of these grown-up things we do Oh sure, it could be worse At least we dance and drink And screw this whole damn thing Our dates have never been much fun They just create a chance for the two of us To narrow us down to one And so I'm done with all the valentines We can tell our friends that things are fine But if these ends justify these means Then at least that means we had a good time Cause neither of us are cosmetic And both of us are overly concerned We aren't particularly poetic and we certainly haven't learned all of the particulars Of these grown-up things we do, oh sure, it could be worse At least we dance and drink and screw this whole damn thing Whoa, screw this whole damn thing Screw this whole damn thing, yeah, yeah I'm thinking of the discrepancy between turnout and potential And my credentials speak auspiciously Yet our background began with adultery But wait, I think you're great And you're wrong if you think I love only me So maybe we're overrated And we can cop an attitude Perhaps we're kind of complicated But love, allow me to be rude And ignore the thoughts Of the others in the room Because despite how we are Oh, darling I love Yes, I Disappointment. It's really fun tuning to drop D because you get to go, you know, it just has this nice, this nice settling effect. So uh, I'm, I'm sure I can't be the only one that this has happened to. So please tell me if this story sounds familiar. You decide to go on a road trip with your best friend, say you want to go to New Orleans or something. You drive 18 hours to to go all the way there, you get to Bourbon Street, you get way too drunk on Bourbon Street and you start kind of screaming at each other in the middle of the, you know, at 3 a.m. or whatever. And then, uh, so much so that the police start getting involved, you know, and it's like, oh, he doesn't want to be in the band anymore. It's like, we can't arrest him for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, kind of becomes a whole thing, you have this whole whatever, and then you drive back 18 hours in sullen silence. I mean, this, this is not, I, I, this hasn't happened to me. I mean, like, I'm sure it's happened to someone here, so. Uh, whoever that is, it's, it's for you. <laughs> Before the war, things were better. Before we felt the need to fight. But then we burnt the bridge. That spanned the river And split our city by streetlight A civil war never is But it shouldn't hurt like this These 
these tears taste like bourbon Been drinking all night long Life's a blurry line and we're both I don't mind falling on the hand grenade You'll pick up the pieces when I do Brothers in arms or torsos or legs If someone makes it out of this I hope it's you A civil war never is But it shouldn't hurt like this These tears taste like bourbon Been drinking all night long Life's a blurry line And we're both wrong Seen through a scope The whole world looks like the enemy Hair trigger hard But the chamber's empty We'll be fine Though we both died By the hand of the other's mind Tastes like bourbon Been drinking all night long Life's a blurry line And we're both wrong Life keeps stumbling on It's the end of our song So, uh, oh, you guys are so nice. Uh, so this is, um, this is the time where we have to say goodbye to Cassie. It's union rules. I'm not allowed to play her any longer. Uh, I know. Doesn't that suck? So next time, hopefully, you'll, well, some more merch or something, we'll be able to afford it for longer. But thank you, dear. might be wondering what this is. This, well, I'm not really sure either, uh, but her name is Aoife, and she has this beautiful, kind of ancient sort of sound, uh, which is weird. We, we like ancient sounds, and I'm not sure why, but, but in modern society, we like those sort of simple sounding things. Maybe it's like the Shire, I don't know. But <laughs> there's, there's something compelling about it, right? Um, I know that, that to me, it sounds a bit like longing. And maybe you also have a big dragon-shaped hole in your heart right now. You're not sure what to, what to fill back in there. Just there's this void you were promised so much, and now it turns out you're still the same person as you were 10 years ago. Uh, so what really helps me when I'm thinking about those, those sorts of things is to remember that when your favorite show or movie series ends, none of it ever happened. <laughs> Kill 
me over and over, thrill me for free. We'll grow lower and lower and lower into our seas. We escaped our escape into a world without a fate. Nothing got better while we were away. Alone together, tomorrow's the same. How much longer will we have to Not escape into a world without a bed. Nothing got better while we were away. Alone together, tomorrow's the same. How much longer will we have to wait? Oh, I'm out of seasons and I'm out of reasons to stay. And closer to the screen Oh, kill me over and over And thrill me for free We'll go closer and closer And closer to the screen Show me a world I've not seen before Show me a world Without metaphor Show me a world Where I don't want Always, always another TV show to watch. But, but even that's kind of stressful, right? That's a uniquely modern problem, is that we're stressed out by the amount of things that we have to pretend to do. And then we're also stressed out about all the things that we actually have to do. And we aren't really even sure which is which. That, that tends to be overwhelming. Uh, because even if you've spent all night watching TV, there's still more. It's so weird. Um, it just kind of always makes me feel like, uh, Nothing's ever enough There's another chore hiding beneath the bed Oh, nothing's ever enough We need to find a way to free our heads from the voices shouting up above If I miss one call, will I lose my love? Oh, nothing's ever enough Cause your head hurts You can't remember the next verse But it's okay You got a chorus of pain Singing nothing's ever enough A road around the world that never ends Oh, nothing's ever enough Your car can only cram in so many friends And they all just want to be loved But right now you know you can't remember the name of nothing one mow lawns, wash cars, light bulbs, light up, lighten up, wipe it up, relax, de stress, eat more, drink less, don't care, care more, be best, useless. Shit, I totally forgot to buy detergent. I gotta make a list. Let's make a list of all the things we'll never do. And never see And set it alight And we'll be warm for the rest of our lives While we see what we can see It's not as bad as it seems, oh, nothing's ever enough 
But we still find time for songs and dreams And if something's clever enough You might find that you don't care That nothing's ever enough So let's leave it there Thank you, Aoife. Are you seeing a pattern? That's, it's not that exciting, I'm sorry. That's, uh, it's just a drum. This is uh, somebody you've met before, actually. Thank you, Lupe. Uh, but she's wonderful. She's a cute little ukulele, as you might have guessed. Uh, she's great for celebrations, bar mitzvahs, uh, birthdays. Now, you'll hear that because uh, it is a very special birthday in the audience today. My grandfather turns 75 today. I know! Dear Lord! Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, we should all sing happy birthday. Mm. We're not going to do that, because if we all sang happy birthday to my 75-year-old grandfather right now, he would run us over with his Corvette. <laughs> so instead, I will simply say this. Papa, if it were not for you and your reckless decisions, none of us would be in the audience tonight. <laughs> So, uh, speaking of reckless decisions, this is a song about being on a hallucinogenic substance at a fancy dinner party. I will let you decide if that's autobiographical. Where's my name? I've lost it again in a gold sea of dresses and sharp businessmen. My name leapt from my tongue, hit the floor and fled, and crept into the pocket of a long forgotten friend. What will this end? It's getting harder to pretend that I'm okay. Who's the date today? This ball's no masquerade. We wore masks anyway. Cause we never leave the house without them tied Behind our eyes If the Buddhists have it right Then you're all me But who am I? Don't feel like dancing The floor moves round me fine I can't kill the mood If I starve it down inside Spinning on ceilings with black butterflies Painted on the edges of our eyes Who's the date today? This ball's no masquerade We wore masks anyway Cause we never leave the house without them tied Behind our eyes If the Buddhists have it right Then you're on me But who am I? Skeleton bouncing around the room with me. What are these hands and what can they destroy? The whole world between my palms, but what's the world to a toy? Who's the date today? This ball's no masquerade. We wore masks anyway, cause we never leave the house without them tied behind our eyes. If the Buddhists have it right, then you're on me, but who? the day today this ball's no masquerade we wore masks anyway cause we never leave the house without them tied behind our eyes if the buddhists have it right then you're all me but
Trippy. So the ukulele is really fun um, because it kind of it brings out that classical part of me for some reason, and I, I really I really like that. So thank you, Lupe. I think she went to school. I didn't. Um, but uh, something I learned in school wasn't music, but um, it's how to put shit off. <laughs> but I, I feel like I'm not the only one who took that away from, from college or high school. And I feel like everyone in their own way learns it sometime. I, I, I think we all feel that way. So uh, uh, it's just kind of like everyone's trying to get their shit together. Just as soon as they can find the time Everyone's looking for a place to spend all of their imagination As long as it's on someone else's time Well, that's something I'd like to do That's something I'd like to try Maybe someday when I have more time Maybe the sun will stay longer in the sky And busy is not an excuse but I've got things I've got to do No, they're not for me But love, life, and rent aren't free Cause everyone's trying to get their shit together Just as soon as they can find the time Everyone's looking for a place to spend all of their imagination As long as it's on someone else's dime Take it, me And it says you're not the boss of me I know where I stand So I won't even shake your hand But lend me just a buck or two And you can twist my arm till it breaks for you And I'll keep working away Until some unspecified day As long as I'm getting paid So I can't afford an early grave Yeah, everyone's trying to get their shit together just as soon as they can find the time Everyone's looking for a place to spend all of their imagination As long as it's on someone else's time Woo! Cause everyone's trying to get their shit together Just as soon as they can find the time Everyone's looking for a place to spend all of their imagination As long as it's on someone else, as long as it's on someone else, as long as it's on someone else's time. I uh, <laughs> feel like I've been putting off this show for 25 years. So, uh, if it's all right with you, I would like to play some acoustic fingerstyle guitar for you now, because that's what I do, but I haven't done any of that yet, so I'm gonna do that. And this is the fingerstyle guitar, um, but I also need a fingerstyle hat. <laughs> Apparently, I'm just not worthy. Do that on purpose because it looks cool when you pick up hats from the ground. <laughs> You're like, yeah, there's the hat. Put it on my head. It's super cool. Uh, so I couldn't think of a bit for this, so that's just kind of what we ended up with. Um, now, there's going to be two covers tonight. Everything else is original music, and, and this is the, the first one of those. Um, the second one, even I literally don't know what it's going to be yet. You, you'll see what I mean. Uh, but. This is a song called Pumpernickel Pow Wow. Um, it's by my friend Brian Trusby, uh, and, and I, I just liked it so much that I really wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, but, um, Chris, I forgot to tell you about this ahead of time, but can we actually pull down the lights for this? Because it, instrumental guitar, 
I think sometimes we get too stuck watching, right? And I'd like to, uh, I'd like to have us just listen. So, uh, if, if, yeah, can we pull down the stage lights? Like, whatever, yeah, ah, uh, goodbye. <laughs> um, cool, so, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's better, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just making sure there's nothing more interesting going on somewhere else. <laughs> And, yeah, there isn't. It's literally just like a white screen. See, it's probably a metaphor for something. I don't know, uh, one of those things. But uh, yeah, let me let's put that away, huh? So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a song called Pumpernickel Powwow by Brian Trusby. Thank you, thank you. Right, right, that guy. Brian Trusby. Now that the secret's out, I really was kind of hoping we could get away with that, but <laughs> that's all right. Uh, there's a newcomer to the battlefield. Hello, Chip. He says hello. Uh, He's a dashing little fellow, he's a mandolin, um, a recent addition to the family, and I'm really excited to have him here. Uh, part of my, the reason I like Chip so much is that he's small, which I identify with, so <laughs> we wrote a song together about it.
But there's mountains on the moon And it's far and dark On the way to the next star It's far and dark It's so quiet And I feel small help me settle an argument I'm having with my mom? <laughs> All right, just on three, just, just shout out the answer here, okay? What color is this vest? One, two, three. That's what, I, that's what I said, thank you. She picked this out, but I just, I think I'm right. <laughs> Speaking of apparel, uh, there's a point in every artist's set where they have to tell you about all the wonderful merchandise they have for sale just out in the theater lobby, but I'm not gonna do that because that would be cheap. Uh, no, that, that makes me uncomfortable, but Chip, while he's a gentleman, he is also a salesman. So we've worked out a little pitch for you. I'm gonna kinda let him do most of the, the talking. <laughs> everything so everything sucks now please buy my stuff I've got t-shirts to make you look good and I've got music to make your heart warm I've got merchandise so so much to give but you know I can't live if you don't All the stuff is great, it's just the marketing that sucks I sell feelings, I've got the feeling That you want to take me home
cosmos, everything. So everything, yeah, sucks. Math is weird. Now, please buy my stuff. Please buy my stuff. Yeah, please buy it. Sample that. Buy it. Sample it. Buy it. Yeah, what? Uh huh. But it comes with an extra special something if you order right now. A mouthful of beats. Shit. I've got posters and a promise All the stuff is great, it's just the marketing that sucks I sell feelings, I've got the feeling That you want to take me home That you want me on your bones And I can make you feel less alone <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, it's just a t-shirt um, But it's extra comfortable And it'll solve all of your problems <laughs> That is the happiest a crowd has ever been for a banjo. <laughs> you people are hillbillies. So, uh, this is Koi. She was very nice to me. And I think that banjos get sort of a uh, strange reputation. Yeah, that. Sort of the, you know, like spatoo and you hit a thing and it makes a noise. Um, so, so this is, uh, sort of our approach to showing that banjos don't always have to be that way. This is a, a song that Koi and I wrote for uh, a tree that I like. Something about you, you don't know. I, I know something about you. I've been waiting for four and twenty years. The occasional day when your face shines its way back. I watched everything around you grow up slow. I, I know something about you. I found a spot that I think you'll really like. 
I, I know something about you you don't know. I'm the taller of the two, but you're the one who's grown. That's a, that's a song for the tree in my backyard. Now, my backyard is not an apple orchard. That would be great. Um, but I thought that was the least I could do for that tree, since it, you know, gave me something to do when I was a child. But we all know what banjos are really like. <laughs> Music don't need nothing else, it's all I need to hear. Oh, by this one, my corners round my heart and rugged mind. Music slips when hell eclipses love with lavish pride. But music can melt till the devil himself to the man he is inside. Oh, I play best when I don't know what I want, don't know what I hope I never learn. Cause music is a magic of man, can understand it if the music ran away. I know my soul would burn. Music ran away, I know my soul would I put the best when I don't know what I don't know and I hope I never learn Cause music is a magic man can understand it Music ran away, I know my soul would burn So would I play best when I don't know it? Oh, I don't know it, and I hope I never learn. Cause music isn't magic, if I can understand it. Music ran away, I know my soul would burn. I can't ride without whiskey. I can't sing without a beer. I can't love without a woman. And I can't smile without fear. But Music don't make nothing else. It's all I need to hear. So, probably recognize the pattern, right? Uh, it's primes, prime numbers. Um, <laughs> uh, would anyone like to guess what the last instrument's going to be? You can just shout it out. Accordion. Saxophone. Huh? <laughs> it's an instrument jam. That's a good idea. <laughs> and you are completely wrong. It's a chair. <laughs> Sorry, it's a drum. This is Hazel. She is a classical guitar. And she is old enough to be my grandmother, though I don't think she is. <laughs> uh, but that's the thing about family, is that they do, they love you for who you are, no matter how, how shitty you're being. Uh, that's really nice, but they always want to compliment you. They always want to, they want you to know that you're enough. And sometimes it's hard to hear that from our friends, from our family, we, we shut ourselves off because we're, I don't know, we're afraid that, the, that the, they're right? Like, what are we scared of? You take compliments like bullets, you avoid them when you can. Comparisons are worse because they just don't understand. 
It's not deprecation if it's true But you're an inspiration if you choose it Why are we annoyed by love? It scares us when someone says we might be enough It's not being nice, it's just the truth It's very you And they may wanna marry you But they may wanna bury you And either way there's nothing you can do You are very you Everyone around you seems to have it going on home. When did they find the time to learn all the lyrics to all those songs you've never heard? Oh man, love hurts, but a lack of it hurts worse. Why are we annoyed by love? What if they're right? What if you're enough? It's not being nice, it's just the truth. Very, very you And they may want to bury you But they may want to marry you And the way there's nothing that you can do ooh, ooh, You are very you If I knew what I knew now Said if I knew then what I know still know nothing but I treat my mind less roughly Ooh, it's cool it's very you it varies true we'll bury you we will but still it's very very you For this next song, I kind of have to not be here because this is wonderful and I'm so glad to share this with you, but uh, I'm going to go somewhere else for a minute. I don't want to live and I don't want to die. And I don't want to watch all the people in my life fly out the window and into the wind. But I suppose that's all there is. I don't mind the cold and I don't mind the rain. And I don't mind the tired chords or country-esque refrains. I won't find my friends in the places that I've been. I'll have to tell them for myself if I want to see them again Some days it doesn't seem enough to try I don't want to live, but I don't want to die Remembering in backwards time I've stopped reading the writing on the walls and in the sky And I get the funny feeling that they'd like to see me try I've got a gift to give But maybe that's a lie
got just one more life I might as well try living cause I know I'm gonna die Before we all die, would you like to hear that second cover I promised you? Yeah. So, I said I didn't know what it was going to be. Um, This is the spinstrument, and it counts as the seventh instrument. Um, so this is why I don't know what's about to happen. Uh, there's a couple of rules for this thing. Um, one, we need somebody to spin it, so we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, but the second one is that we need to help, uh, help the spinstrument along. There's a special word that goes with it. Uh, it's sort of a chant. It goes, spinstrument, and you have to hold the ment for as long as the thing spins, all right? So just try that with me or it won't work. Okay, ready? So we go, spin strong. Nice, good cut off. <laughs> so if that had happened, Man dance mandolin. Uh, so each of these corresponds to one of the instruments you see on the stage before you. Uh, man dance mandolin, obviously being mandolin. Freshman EDM being uh, the banjo. Pretty uh, bitch, that's going to be the classical guitar. Uh, Cassie Cool Cat, that's going to be Cassie, my lovely acoustic. Um, that's Ah, it's the bazooki. And then Dad's fave ukulele. Duh. Um, so the question is who wants to spin it? Oh, I saw it, Heather. Get up here, Heather. Get up here, you wonderful person. <laughs> Heather, come here. Come, come on to this side of it. Here, first I'm gonna... I'm gonna I love you. Oh, so oh, this is good luck. This bodes well. Please don't fuck this up. Um, all right, so we practice. We practice. We know, we know the cues, right? So we're gonna do spin straw, and then she's gonna spin on ment. Ment. I don't know, however you want to say it. Uh, okay, ready? Spin strum man. Oh God, this is gonna go forever. I love that song, but I feel like that's kind of unfair because it landed in the same spot. I, I want to show you that this will always go some, well, sometimes go. Like, data's weird. Um, see, it's free spinning, okay? Okay, I just want to point that out. Now, uh, holy shit, we just did two. All right, thank you, Heather. Okay. Well, then that means, technically here, all right. Well, we'll play Man Dance Mandolin. And this is a technicality, but you guys got me here. Because I said there would be two covers. Technically, Brian played his original song. <laughs> Sound fair? We will start with Heather's wonderful role, uh, Man Dance Mandolin. Now this is, a, uh, this is a song that I learned because I heard it and I just thought of my wife. 
Um, I've never heard a chorus that kind of captures who she is so well. Um, so I wanted to, I just wanted to share this with you. It's, it's from a movie, which kind of helps. And uh, I think Chip's just the man for the, well, the mandolin for the job. <laughs> say there's, there, there's a little more happening but um, let's count this as an encore we're not gonna do an encore when it's over just let it be over <laughs> it's gonna be nice and wonderful and let's just leave it there so just pretend like I'm doing this 20 minutes from now <laughs> hold on read the sign All right, does anyone have any heroin? No, <laughs> it's fine. Um, and 
snow with the midnight sun and the hot spring glow. Hammer of the gods will drive our ships to new lands to fight the horde and sing and cry. Valhalla, I am coming. Hung this way with a dragon. Midnight sun and the hot springs blow. How soft your fields, so green, can whisper tales of gore, of how they turned the tides of war. We are your overlord. It's, it's, it's fun. I like that the bazooki is an Irish instrument. It's sort of, uh, sort of ancient. It feels like if a Viking got a hold of one. <laughs> Why not? So uh, this guitar doesn't actually have a name. Um, that is because it is not mine. It belonged to a man named Bill Nadell. And Bill is, is not with us any longer. I never got the chance to meet him, but I do get the chance to play his guitar, and that means, uh, that means a lot to me. So, we'd like to write a song for you right now. This has been really special, and I'd love to commemorate that. So, in order to write a song, now, uh, I have to have a couple of things. One, I have to have no lyrics, it's just, gonna be easier, uh, but we need a key. It's the first of the three things, and uh, I just wish we had some way of randomly selecting a key, like, you know, something out of 12 intervals. Um, like the second best guitar key. <laughs> right behind E sharp. Uh, all right, so A. Uh, next thing we're gonna need is a tonality. Basically that means uh, major or minor. So um, in order to pick that, where's that hat? Ooh. 
I told you the first time was a ruse. Uh, so I'm gonna throw this into the audience, and if the person who catches it has blonde hair, we'll go minor, and if they have black hair, we'll go major, all right? Um, and if you, win, if you catch it, you're gonna win a prize. All right, ready? Here we go. Woo! What you got? What, okay, so that's like, like salt and pepper. Okay, so yeah, no, so, so it's, like, um, it's like major, but like just a little, a little more distinguished, like mixolydian, you know, which is very close to major. It sound, you know, it's, it's like major would be like, but mixolydian would be, it sounds a little more like salt and pepper to me. Um, and I have this tuned down a half a step, so uh, for the sake of, you know, now it's an A. There we go. Uh, the third thing I need is very simple. It is a seed. It's just a, a word, an adjective. Somebody just shout something out. Cucumber. Holy shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Okay. No, I mean, Brian's song was named after pumpernickels, so cucumber makes sense. So this will be, all right, this will be a mixolydian cucumber.
kind of kind of everything, isn't it? <laughs> um, thank you. This obviously means the world to me. So thank you for sharing it. Thank you for watching me play with myself. <laughs> uh, this could not have happened without like 8,000 people, but I want to name at least the top 10 or so. Um, we have Braden, so by the way, just, let's just do all one big giant round of applause to, to thank all of them. I'll just run through them really quickly. Uh, we have Malia making everything happen backstage. We have Pat who's recording tonight. We have Chris running sound and light. We have Brian doing his thing, obviously. Uh, we have Braden and Michael who are filming and recording this whole thing. Uh, we have James, Yose, and uh, Jason for building a giant game show wheel. Uh, it, this could not have happened without all of you. So thank you so much. I have very little music left. I think I have about two notes. But if you would uh, sing them with me when we get there, please do. There are a few people missing from that list of thank yous, and uh, it's because you're special. Dad's got a ladder, so he's probably going to die. Because he's uniquely qualified, just like every other guy, to try and climb higher than every other uniquely qualified guy. But you know what? He's right because he taught me to climb and reach for the sky and to pluck out a life that I'm proud to call mine. So thank you, Dad. You taught me to try. Mom sends me weird emojis, but I know she just wants to show me that she's thinking about me, I guess, and to remind me to be kind and gracious and stress less. When you grow up watching someone love so well, you begin to wonder whether you could ever do so yourself, but Mom can tell that from toddler heaven through high school hell to quiet college and loud wedding bells, I learned to love because of her help. My sister, don't tell her, but I admit that I miss her. She knows that I'm closed, so she talks most while I sit there and sometimes diss her, but despite the nicknames and the negligence, the missed calls and her hanging on my cuter friends, she shows me the beauty in being different. And speaking of different, we have a brother. The youngest and tallest and slightly smothered, strong and smart and giving, like a tree. Often quietly, always listening for the next perfect beat to give you what you need. He's bigger than I will ever be, but he showed me that giving grows me. So that someday, maybe, I'd meet a lady who loves who I am and all the people who made me, who squeezes my hand while people whine about wanting babies. <laughs> <laughs> who makes life real, who helps me heal and reveals the depth in the dark, the head and the heart, the songs and the ends and the starts. She holds stars and carves luminous lines with passionate sparks. She shines true. Thank you, Jules. And you'd better thank her too. Because, my friends, she brought me to you. Which brings me to you. I'm sure today you had other things to do. Errands, exercise, TV, and a few brews. But instead of letting your news feeds fill you with fear, you left the house and came here. And that means we got to share smiles and tears, all thanks to our music in our ears. When music is not shared, it's just air. But when you're there, it is everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.